I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Karen. I'm serving the Lord in the city of the great King. Wow, it is a land that drinks the rain of heaven. It is an exceedingly good land that flows with milk and honey. And you know, we just come out of the Gaza Strip and oh, God taught us so many things and the Bible just comes alive when you're, when you're in this place walking with God and you know, you just speak the word and you live the word, you think the word and you act the word. And just to, to walk in the rhythm of the spirit was such a great blessing. And oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> And Lord, come from the four winds, O breath of God, and breathe through your people today. And Lord, I ask that you blow on the dry bones. And you know, I get up every morning and I just am so thankful. I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed. I lived 40 years out in the wilderness. I was a slave of Satan's. I mean, I just was involved. Anything Satan threw my way, I chased it. But I've been liberated. I've been liberated. I've been set free. I've been set free from the chains of Satan. I'm no longer a slave to sin or Satan. I'm joined to the King of glory. I'm joined to the, his marvelous light. I'm joined to his loving kindness. I am joined to his mercy. I'm joined to his power and I'm like, Wow, I'm joined to the joy of the Lord. I'm joined to his long suffering. I'm joined to his patience. You know, I'm joined to him. And it is like, wow, 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 wow. So no matter what happens, it's like we have peace because he's the Prince of Peace. And we're joined to his peace. Wow. And so today we've got a word for you. And I've, I've spoke about throwing the first stone at the woman caught in adultery, but I was just in the Gaza prison. And let me tell you that a large amount of the women that are in the prison have been caught in adultery. They've been caught in adultery. They can never go back to their family. They can never return to their husband or their children. They're in the prison and they are society outcast. But what is God? say about the woman caught in adultery. In John 8, it says, Jesus went to the Mount of Olives early in the morning, and he came again to the temple, and all the people came to him, and he sat down, and he taught them. And the scribes and the Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in adultery the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what do you say? This they say testing him that they might have something of which to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground with his finger as though he did not hear. And they continued asking him, and he raised himself up and he said, he who is without sin amongst you, let him throw a stone at her first. And I feel like, wow, this woman was caught in adultery and God says, he who is without sin, throw the stone. And I feel like, the men in, that stone the women caught in adultery, how can they stand before God Almighty, the righteous judge, and be, you know, how can they stand before him when they are condemning one who, who is a sinner? They condemn the woman caught in adultery. That's why God said, judge not, condemn not, there's only one righteous judge. And so in the prison of Gaza, these women are in there because they've been caught in the act of adultery. And this is God's position to those that will judge her. He who is without sin, let him throw the stone at the woman. 
If you are without sin, if you don't need God to forgive you for nothing, go ahead and throw the stone. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Those that heard it were convicted in their conscience, and they went out one by one with the oldest to the last. The oldest walked away first to the last, to the least. And Jesus was left alone with the woman. And Jesus raised himself up, and he saw no one but the woman. And he said to him, woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? So this is Jesus' position with a woman caught in adultery. Woman, where are your accusers? Has no one condemned you? Because the men had all walked away. And she said, no one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Wow, this is the glory of God. This is the mercy of God. Go in sin no more, woman. For he said, the, the accusers have not accused you, condemned you. I don't condemn you. Go in sin no more. And he goes on and he says, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but they will walk in the light of life. We've been joined to the light. We've been joined to the Lord. Can you see when you go out and join yourself to a harlot or you commit adultery, you are joined to the Lord. You walk in the light because he is the light. He is the light of the world. And it says, when you, you follow him, you shall not walk in the darkness, but you will walk in the light of his life. You will walk in the light because you're joined to the light. He brought you out of darkness and joined you to his marvelous light. So we walk in the light. We don't walk in the darkness. We walk in the light. And I just want to say, God says to those that have committed adultery, he says, I don't condemn you, but go and sin no more. You ask God to forgive you if you belong to the Lord. You say, God, forgive me. I repent. I repent for carrying the Lord, joining the Lord with a harlot, joining the Lord in adultery because you're joined to the Lord. So you ask the Lord, Lord, forgive me for my sins. I repent. I repent. Sprinkle me with your blood and put me into the light, the light, your marvelous light. And gird me up and strengthen me that I don't sin anymore. In Jesus' name, I want to say a big God bless you out there. The best is not behind us, but in front of us. This is good news from the throne of grace. God bless you.